Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for, oh my goodness, cards just want to fly out everywhere. Uh, for October 18th to the 24th for your weeklies. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you like a person read me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description a box below. All right, my darlings, and if you are a fan of unsolved true crime stories or the paranormal mysteries, you may want to check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. Okay, let's just talk about some of these cards before we jump in here for our weeklies. All right, um, there's multiple cards here. The first one that wanted to fly out here was the Hermit card energy Taurus. So it looks to me like, just let me tune in here. It looks like someone wants to give you something. Someone has something for you. They're really sad and lonely here, that's what I feel like. Thinking about the connection. This person has a very obsessive quality with the devil card energy, and there has been some waiting around here to kind of see how things are gonna play out. So I've been a pentacles energy. And this person keeps looking behind them, so I feel like they're like, what's going on here? I thought if I did this, I would get their attention, but it's not working. So what do I do next? I'm trying to stay grounded in this situation. And we see the Three of Cups here. Where the, with, It looks like it's a friend or you guys met when you were out through Cups energy or through friends. There is this joyful energy when this person's around you with the Three of Cups energy. Okay. So let's go move into your reading now. Let's change up camera views here, all right? So however that resonates with you. I do read my comments, guys. So look, take what resonates, leave the rest. Your day-to-day, -day, uh, your love interest feelings, the block delays and challenges, and the overall outcome. What's gonna happen with my Taurus's romantic love life for October 18th to the 24th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords. We have the Full Card Energy. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Hangman. We have the Magician. We have the Lovers. We have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Swords, we have the Tower card energy, we have the Two of Pentacles, we have the Three of Cups, we have the, wow, the Hierophant card, and the King of Cups, wow. So what signs do I see here? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It was a sad energy before. And it was like somebody was holding on to a situation and was kind of stuck there. And now it's aligning, luck is on your side. Now things are moving in your favor. There's a lot of gonna, there's gonna be a lot of hopeful signs for you guys. And some kind of huge potential coming in here. Okay, so let's look at the gypsy. So I can see here and let's talk about the days, all right? So it's gonna be October 18th, 19th, 20th, 21, 22, 23, 24. Feel free, Taurus, come back, check this out. Let me know how this plays out in your individual situations in the comments below. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for the blockage? We see that there's a blockage of the Two of Pentacles. Now, there's some juggling going on, this back and forth energy. I need to make this decision, okay? So it looks like you're struggling in a choice here and trying to stay balanced in making that choice. It feels like one particular situation, you're just like, all right, I really, I'm holding this in high regard, but I don't know about this other one. I kind of been going back and forth with this other one, but I kind of feel like I don't know what to do. I don't want to be influenced by what other people have people have to say about this. I want to I want to come at this from a grounded place. Maybe not even choose this situation based on my emotions, but be more grounded in that. But then on the same token, I keep sliding back and forth and trying to figure out like, okay, how do I bring balance to this decision and and get done what I need to get done here? Okay, so. Why is this Two of Pentacles here? Why is this Two of Pentacles here? 
Why is this Two of Pentacles here? First, show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we see a person card and this joyful energy and an obligation or a wife, okay, or uh, someone, there's a commitment here or some. I feel like one of the people you feel like is very nurturing, supportive, attractive, but the other one you feel is more of a person that you could commit to, okay, start a family with. I feel like there's this ending of this stuck energy and trying to restrict this situation. There's this letter message or document. You're trying to look for some spiritual signs and, and figure out your thoughts. Okay. Let's keep going here. All right. So, so I can see that there is a lot of worry and concern here coming up on the 18th. Yeah, it's like really troubling. Like, oh my God, I don't want to deal with this situation. I'm so worried, concerned. I keep thinking about this. And these thoughts are overwhelming me. Okay, how do I deal with this? I don't want to deal with this. Okay, so what's going to have my Taurus is Romantic Love Life, October 18th to the 24th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, what's happening here? Again, we see a person card. Now this can represent, okay, let's talk about what this can represent. It can represent a daughter, a sister. It can represent a nurturing, supportive energy, um, uh, like a motherly kind of like a very joyful kind of energy. I almost see like when, with the gypsy, this is like the Kipper cards, um, you know, um, uh, the, the younger uh, lady card. Uh, this is, this is, for that card, it's like joyful, celebration, attraction. Um, there's a lot of worry and concern here. So, some more information. What's going to happen my Taurus's romantic love life? October 18th to the 24th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's up with this? Okay, so there's this worry and concern about somebody who is really missing you. So this person is only like their, your absence is felt. They long for your embrace once again. There was this nurturing and supportive energy. There's a lot of worry and concern. Okay, so we see on the 19th, I'm ready to just go for it. Take a risk here. Because I'm feeling sad about this situation and I want to be happy here with the 10 of cups energy. Interesting. So it looks like you guys are going to receive some kind of good news here by the 20th. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Possibly some of you guys even may receive a gift, okay? Because we see what are pentacles, money, family, children, long term. But there's something tangible there, okay? And we actually see the gift card. So there's giving going on here. Someone's giving a gift. Someone's giving you something. Oh, that's interesting. And we see because of this isolation, this separation, or letting you know, hey, are you single and available to pursue? Or, you know, I, I'm really lonely today. I want to really want to spend some time with someone. Okay, so we see you're at a crossroads. There's a sad energy here. There's a focus on emotions and a stuck energy in thoughts. You're overwhelmed again here on this day of the 21st. So be careful about this energy because you are filled with regrets on this day. There's a lot of uh, contemplation of the past about a soulmate connection, about a relationship. So it seems like you're going to get caught up in some things here on the 22nd. Okay, Taurus. And it almost going to, it's almost feel like for you guys, you're like, oh God, I'm going in deeper. I'm going in deeper. I'm getting more stuck about this situation. I feel like I'm being surrounded here because there's this love connection and communication, you know you're gonna to have to make some kind of sacrifice here on this day, because you're kind of stuck and like, I wanna talk with this person, I really do love them. And then we see what the Magician card energy is saying to me, you're manifesting something here, someone's trying to manifest you in their life or they see you as their ideal partner here, because they find you very attractive, okay? And you really do make them happy, so there's a happy conversation about this. And we see there's a relationship here with the Two of Cups energy, with, excuse me, with the Lover's Card energy. And a very joyful energy coming in here on the 24th. 
and we see an opportunity for a relationship, okay, what to do with a relationship. But it's gonna be a very happy day for you guys on this day. Okay, so let's bring this all together. I'm missing you and I really wanna be happy. Um, I've had this isolation, separation, I'm lonely, I'm ready for, I wanna be single and available to pursue or do I wanna have this relationship? I really wanna talk with you because you really do make me happy and I really want a, a positive outcome here and I really want this opportunity with you. So we see here for your love interest feelings, I've been waiting here for you. I've invested time and I, I keep being stuck in my thoughts and I'm hesitant to take this risk. I was really shocked and surprised about how everything went down or this, there was a big event that happened that changed things for this person. I didn't know how to tell you I needed to gain some kind of knowledge about a child, a new beginning, a fresh start, or this new person of yours. I love you, Ace of Cups energy. I want to make the effort here. And I want to cut away these unhealthy things from the past, or I made this abrupt decision, and I, I don't know what I did. I, 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 I shouldn't have done that. So we come back to the blockage here with the Two of Pentacles energy. I want to have some kind of sigh of relief here, but I'm confused about what to do, how to make this decision. Let's find out. Taurus, what else you need to know? What else does Taurus need to know? What else does Taurus need to know about their romantic love life for October 18th to 24th? My cards you can see. Show me the cards. I need to see. What else do you need to know here? Okay, so you've come to the edge. There's a lot of feelings here but there's a hesitation of going all the way. You receive this letter, message, document, and it changes everything for you. I want to start a family with you. I want to be together. I want to work together. I want to figure this out. I've been thinking about you, and I really want to make sure we're going in the right direction, and you're going to have to make some kind of decision here. You're concerned that things are going to keep going round and round, so you're taking some time to think about it. But you're seeing that there's some spiritual signs around the situation, but you want an equal exchange here because you're concerned about having regrets about your decision. So you're trying to focus on the here and now and questioning why do they want to clear the air? Why do they want to clean this up? Why do they want to do this? Okay. So we see that there is this friendship, Three of Cups energy, this joyful energy, and this sense of I want to commit to this person. I want to... I, I see this person as a spiritual connection with the Hierophant card energy. I really have strong love for them. They are the best decision for me when it comes to love. I really want to commit to them. I want to be married to them. I want to be with them. We see that there is this joyful energy here. We see that there's this, this celebration, going out, and pleasure seeking that's being taken away here for a hopeful energy because of deep love, um, strong love here. See, there's people here, and things are aligning in your favor. Luck is on your side, and you're seeing the spiritual signs of this deep love here again. We see there's a, an apology here about what happened to the situation, and an offer, a huge offer here for some kind of long-term commitment, or giving to something tangible here. We see I've invested time, I've been patient, I really want to bring things into balance, and I'm obsessed with this potential opportunity here. So we come here. You're gonna to have to make a decision. There's a sigh of relief, but you're still confused about why it's coming together the way it is. It seems like before there was some kind of, you know, celebration, kind of hanging out, pleasure seeking, and other people here. And it's like, all right, but I wanna to apologize to you. I really wanna invest time in this connection. I wanna bring balances. I regret what happened here. And you know, it is time, and I wanna to commit to you because you are the best decision for me when it comes to love and romance. And I'm hopeful. I've seen the spiritual signs. I wanna offer you something huge, and I'm obsessed with you. All right, my beautiful Tauruses, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, I do read my comments, and I'm sure you guys have been seeing that I've been answering your comments. I've been answering a lot of you guys directly. So I do love hearing from you guys. And so, yes, if you feel comfortable, let me know what's going on with your situation in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another date or two. There's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. And also, yeah, the 11-11 reading, and I'm about to release also, but next reading I'm gonna do is on the mid-months, 
which would be love and career. But after that, I'm going to do the eclipse reading, I think. Uh, so if you guys want, to, want me to do a reading on the uh, partial solar eclipse coming up, I kind of already did to see what was going on with that situation. It's very interesting. You'll see what I'm talking about. If you guys want me to do the reading, let me know in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you guys. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.